Brownstown, Vlogmas, Day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Brownstown, Vlogmas Day 11, guys. I am just want to be so close and personal to you guys today. I just want to just say thank you so much if you're subscribed to Brown Professional Carpet Care. The sun is very bright in my face. If you're subscribed, if you're, if you like all of my videos, if you hit the notification, even the haters and the uh, trollers, I love all of you because you're watching. So that's a good thing. So Brownstown today on Vlogmas 11, these filthy carpets, guys, this is like the world's dirtiest carpets, guys, the way they look from before and after, guys, incredible. And also, you remember when I said in my pre-Thanksgiving vlog about something that the worst thing that happened, I'm going to explain it at the end of this video, what happened that day, the day before Thanksgiving with the truck mount. Holy moly. So Brownstown, I love you all. I thank you so much. I appreciate you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Vlogmas is great. Vlogmas is beautiful. It's awesome. It takes a lot of work if you don't understand the behind the scenes of it. And I'm going to try my hardest to get a video up every day until Christmas. Even if I'm just talking about something, not even cleaning, I'm going to get you guys something each and every day. So Brownstown, all my Brownstown vets, notification nation andre bronze professional carpet care i love you i appreciate you and i thank you so much let's get on to the vlog vlogmas day 11 <clears throat> vlog 139 please share like comment and subscribe guys unless you want three minute vlogs i am not joking browns I appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in today. Thank you for subscribing to Brown's Professional Carpet Care. Hitting the like button if you did enjoy today's vlog. I just wanted to just say, guys, just keep your hearts filled with joy, guys. Keep your hearts filled with joy. 
and just always want to do better, guys. I say it every video, guys. Have a great day on purpose. Always want to do better for yourself. Love yourself first. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will, guys. Brownstown, all my Brownstown vets, I love you all from the bottom of my heart. But wait. Chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it stinks. Holy moly. I can't stay down here, guys. This stinks too bad. And that's an order, guys. Holy moly. Brownstown. One of the worst things could have happened to me today, the day before Thanksgiving, guys. But I'm here. I'm still giving thanks. Uh, regardless of it. Uh, normally, back in the day, when my dad was alive and uh, doing the office work and I was out being a uh, working lead technician, anything happened with the machine, I don't care what it is, if it won't start, I'm calling my dad and see what's going on and he'll walk me through it. But nowadays, my dad had been passed for a couple years and before that, over the last four or five years, I had to start learning the machine myself and how to fix things correctly and try to fix things instead of have, having to take it to Interlink Supply and get charged the arm and the leg especially for uh, the labor portion. But I was in here, guys, started the machine regular, boom. Went inside, filled up my gallon jug so I can make up my cleaning agent. I came outside and all I can see, guys, seen straight through here was water was shooting through there, guys. Water was shooting through here. So I hurried up, turned the water off first, still shooting. So I turned this stuff off and turned off the solution pump. Guys, this tank back here, I'm going to get back there so you can see, was shooting all up in the air. And I started the machine, as you can see, some of the water here, guys. I had to take out some of my things, guys. Outside shoes only. Guys, this stuff got wet. This was in my door, guys. My filters for my workhorse. My towels got wet. My shorts got wet, guys. This stuff is soaking wet, guys. And my speaker, my some decals I have, soaking wet. As you can see there. Water was coming out of the doors, guys. My goodness. Oh, my cord. Uh, you, can see, you see that? Look at all that water, guys. Look at all that water there. Water here. Water there. My seats are soaking wet. All that stuff got all wet up, guys. Everything got wet up, guys. It was water shooting everywhere, guys. And this thing here, I turned it back going. Look at that. Look at my umbrella. <laughs> Ironic. As long as it took me to fill up that water. Shooting out of here, got everything wet up in here, guys. And I opened it and I looked down, and this was completely off. This thing here that stops the water at a certain thing was off. All of these things were out, screws was everywhere, so I had to try to figure out how to put it back together and put that screw on there and tighten it up, guys. And tighten it as much as I possible. So it's probably been loose for a while and finally hinged itself off. But guys, I fixed the problem and now the machine is working properly. But but guys, that was very scary for a minute, guys, because I didn't know what was going on. I said, okay, I keep it plugged up. I know the heat exchange is not doing nothing because that comes out in the front if it was water damage from there. So I'm gonna take my, actually my my uh, vac hose and, and uh, suck that water up. But um, I ain't know what it was, guys. So I just calm down. I ain't even get mad or anything, but I'm very persistent. So if, I, if it don't work, I'm gonna keep on going till I get it. I am very persistent when it comes to things like that nowadays. So I'm just thankful, guys, that I was able to fix it. I was thinking about my jobs coming up. My job for after this job. Okay, what am I going to do? You know, I can in just in cap everything, but I need my machine working, guys. That's my bread and my butter. So I fixed it and we're back to working. And we're back to working, guys. But I just had to just say a quick, uh, do a quick video about it because I would have recorded it, but it was just the moment was so fast. I just had to move and get to the problem so I can come up with a solution, and I did. So. With that being said, guys, learn how to fix your equipment so you don't have to take it to Interlink Supply or wherever you take it because that can get very expensive, especially with the labor, guys. So, Brownstown, see you in the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Short, quick vlog of what happened to me the day before Thanksgiving. <sighs> Holy moly. But it's fixed, guys. 
So next time I go to get my service, I'm going to tell them to look at that and tighten it up even more. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button right now. <laughs> subscribe to Brownstown today or get three minute vlogs.